We are New Bethel Sounds of Praise. Before I preach, I'm going to ask Bradley to come and sing today. Let's give Bradley a hand. He's going to come and sing to us. The Anybody with me tonight? To to thee. Can I say it one more time? I need thee. Oh, I need thee. Yeah, yeah, but Stand to your feet. Touch your neighbors until I die, die, die. Till I die, die, die. I'm going to serve God anyhow. Till I
Number 17, 17 and 1. And when Abram was 90 years old and 9, the Lord appeared to Abram and said unto him, I am. Somebody say, he is. he is. I am the what? Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee. And I will multiply thee exceedingly. Someone said exceedingly. And Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abram, but thy name shall be called Abraham. For a father of what? Many nations have I made thee, and I will make thee exceeding fruitful. And I will make nations of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee, and thy seed after, thy, after thee and their generation. For what? For everlasting covenant. Somebody say it's everlasting. To be a what? God unto thee, and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee, and to thy seed after thee, the land where thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, and everlasting possession. And I will be 
their God. Come on, say, I will be their God. Now turn to the book of Proverbs, chapter number four, and verse number one. Hear ye children the instruction of a father, and attend to no understanding. For I give good doctrine. Somebody say good doctrine. The fathers give what? Forsake ye not my law. For I was my father's son, tender and only beloved in the sight of my mother. He taught me also and said unto me, Let thine heart retain my words. Keep my commandments and what? Get what wisdom? Get understanding? Forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth. Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall what? We're talking about who? Wisdom. Somebody say wisdom. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. With all thy getting, get understanding. Exalt her, and she shall promote thee. Shall, she shall bring thee to honor when thou dost embrace her. She shall give to thine head an ornament of grace, and a crown of glory shall she deliver to thee. Hear, O my son, and receive my sayings, and the years of thy life shall be what? Oh, I wish I had somebody say many. I have taught thee in the way of wisdom, and I have led thee in the right paths. When thou goest, thy steps shall not be straightened, shall not be straightened. And when thou runnest, thou shalt not what stumble. Take fast hold of instruction. Let her not go. Keep her, and she shall what? Be thy life. Somebody said thy life. I want to speak briefly today from the subject, the real deal. Somebody shout, the real deal. I'm talking about the real deal, not the raw deal. But tell your neighbor, it's the real deal. Real deal is anything when it lives up to expectations of the height. Real deal could be spoken of as someone or something that has very special qualities. Real qualities, true and genuine qualities. And today being Father's Day, thought it'd be a good thing to preach about the real deal. But I want to first think of all, thank God for all the good fathers, real fathers. And I want to differentiate or make a distinction between what's real and What's wrong? What I might call counterfeit. Get a lot of folk counterfeits. You ain't gonna talk to me. For those that pretend to be fathers and you're just faking it. Oh yeah, you may be biologically so, but for whatever reason, you just can't step up to the plate and take the swing that you have to take. Since you chose to get in the game, you should accept the responsibility the game brings. I wish I had some help in the house. So today, my brothers and sisters, I didn't come here to down anybody. I didn't come here to condemn anyone. I thank God for all fathers. But I came to encourage and lift up those real deal fathers who work hard every day, come home every night, Hang in there with your families. Spend quality time with your kids who teach not only with words, but by example. Wish I had some help in here. You know it's not always easy, my brothers and sisters, but no matter how tough and rough it gets, you just keep on going. You just keep on doing. Because the world is a much better place because of the values you instill in your children. And because of this, they have a chance to grow up and be good citizens and become real deal parents themselves. Real deal fathers make real deal sons and real deal daughters. I wish I had some help in here. Touch your neighbors here. We're talking about the real deal. Ask your neighbor, are you the real deal or are you faking it? 
care if you're a man or a woman, you ought to be the real deal. Come on and shout hallelujah. Let me uh, first thank God again for all the fathers. You are who you are based upon what God put in you. Can I preach? And secondly, what your parents, the guardians, the teachers, the coaches, the mentors placed in you along the way. Somebody along the way helped to make you who you are now. Even when the person who maybe should have been there wasn't there for you. God fixed it that someone was in your life as an example for you to follow. And for this you ought to say, thank God. Now that you're a father yourself, don't take the same path. Break the cycle. Break the curse. I wish I had some help. Amen. I don't, I don't care what your father did. He may have messed up. But that don't mean you have to mess up. Come on and shout hallelujah. Grab somebody and say break the cycle. Say to all of our fathers, stay with your family. Take time to spend with your sons. Take time to spend with your daughters. And not just any time, spend quality time. Somebody say quality time. Anybody could take a nickel of the dime worth of time on a Tuesday night or on a Wednesday morning, but you need to take quality time and spend time with your sons and your daughters. Can I preach in this house today? Why spend quality time so they won't grow up incomplete, lacking discipline, lacking character, lacking strength, Sound thinking. People are crazy in the head today Something because they didn't listen or the fathers and mothers wasn't there to put it in them. But somebody you met along the way trying to help you to get to the right place. And somebody will say thank you because that's God. Come on and shout hallelujah. Clear understanding and good behavior among other things. And these characteristics are given in the word of God for a pattern for good fathers. So as long as the world will exist, there will always be good fathers. I know it may seem that real fathers are rare and hard to find sometimes, but I know for a fact that there are still some real deal dads around. Oh, I wish I had some help in here. That's fighting every day. Fighting in the trenches. Going to work every day. Sometimes without having yourself. But tell somebody I'm a real deal person. Somebody shout, that's the real deal. I wonder, can I preach to you today? Then, my brothers and sisters, what is a father? Father, the word father comes from the Hebrew word pater. It is found over 852 times in the King James Version. A father then is a male parent who has grown up to be mature enough to plant a seed, cultivate that seed, nourish that seed until that seed grows into full humankind. There are also spiritual fathers and stepfathers, fathers that are founders of countries and in inventions and ministries. And so, to, so, to, so today as we refer to a father in general, a father is very important in life. Because he is the only one who bears the seed of reproduction. Well, you ain't going to like that. And I'm going to say that again. He is the only one who bears the seed of reproduction. So it is he who plants the seed. But he must then be responsible enough to nourish that seed. Cultivate that seed. Provide for that seed. Protect that seed. And then see that seed grow into an infant, a child, a young adult, an adolescent, and he must then educate and train that child. Oh, I wish I had some help in this house. You have to educate that child about life and about God and how to get along with people. Can we shout hallelujah? Can I preach in here today? Then he must not only do that, but he's got to lead that child. He's got to mentor that child through every stage of his life. It's not enough just to make a baby. 
Yeah, I said it's not enough just to make a baby. Oh, I wish I had some help in here. But you know, somebody say, I know. You know you are a real dad when you not only can make a baby, but you can train up a baby. Come on and shout hallelujah. Yeah, yeah you, you, gotta, you gotta raise that baby. You gotta stick with that baby. You gotta help with that baby. But you know you then have to not only that, but you gotta properly raise and train that baby through good times, bad times, sickness, hunger, pain, loving that child through all of the stages of his life. Come on and shout hallelujah. Somebody won't like this, but I'm going to say it in a half. Through all of that trials, trouble, you need to be there for that child. Come on and shout hallelujah. To all of you who want to be fathers, 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 raising children is a full-time responsibility. It's not a part-time job. It's 24-7. You need to be there to help change the diaper. You need to be there to help feed that baby. You need to be there to help change that baby and raise that baby, wash that baby. You got to be there to put that baby to bed and wake that baby up. Put on that baby's clothes. Then you will know that you are a real deal, Father. Oh, it's quiet in here today. Come on and shout hallelujah. Somebody shout, it's a job. Don't take it easy on these young boys. Stop taking it so easy on them. You got to make them know it's a job before they get into it. Don't let them get into it and then say, honey, well, you know you got to do this. Tell them before. If you're going to plant the seed, you got to make sure and do the deed. Come on and shout hallelujah. Just can't do your thing. Just can't do your thing. And then ride off in the sunset. You're going to play, you got to stay. You are commissioned by God. Help me preach in this house. I say you are commissioned by God, not me to be a responsible father. Before you decide to plant that in that field, young man, you gotta purchase that field. You, 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 you just can't go pick up a field and then sow it. No, you gotta purchase that field. And you old young girls, you ought to tell them before you, you, before you get in this field, you gotta put a ring on my finger. And then you got to say, I do. And then you got to stay there with me. Make sure you love that person. Make sure you're ready. If you're not ready, wait. Make sure you're mature enough, stable enough. Make sure you got a good job. At least work at McDonald's. Somebody shout at least. At least have a Burger King job. Trying to talk to somebody on the slide. You, I, I got him in. And you don't even have a job? I want these young girls to get out of my face. Come on and shout hallelujah. Oh, lift your hands and shout hallelujah. Then you got to be mentally prepared enough. Some of these young folk ain't mentally prepared. They're crazy in the head. I wish I had some help in the house. You got to know what the word of God says before you get out there and do your thing. Shake your neighbor hand uh, and tell your neighbor, uh, that's the real deal. Uh, a real deal, Father. Uh, is a godly minded father a real deal father is a faithful father a responsible father 
a wise father, got great character, strength in time of weakness. He is a provider, he is a protector, he's an educator. Come on and say yeah. He's compassionate. Look at our fathers. Raise your hand, fathers. Every father in the house. Look at your fathers. Don't they look like all of those characteristics? And we say yes. But the father, I said the father has to shape and mold those little boys. And so, when you have a little girl, what you gonna do about it? You gotta teach them how to do some things for yourself. Because you might find some knucklehead boy don't wanna provide for you. So teach them how to work. Teach them how to change a tire. I ain't got no help here. Don't let no man stop you from being the woman that God has called you to do. Don't let no man stop you from being a real woman. Establish a covenant. Your Abrahamic covenant through Jesus Christ. We are blessed men. We are blessed men. We are blessed men. We'll rise above the fray. We'll rise above the cost. We'll rise. Women, can you clap your hands out there? We will rise, men. We will rise up. Take our rightful place. Help me, Lord. Help me. I want to take my rightful place. I want to be the priest of my home. I want to be the leader of my family. I want to be the head of my house. Lord, help me. Help me, help me do it with love in my heart. Thank you for joining us today at New Bethel Bound to Pray. We hope and pray that today's message lands on good ground and your heart is receptive to the Word of God. We would love for you to fellowship with us and be a part of the New Bethel Worship Experience. Our pastors, Apostle Alan H. Simmons, co-pastor elect Lady Jan Simmons, and the entire New Bethel family would like to thank you and hope to see you soon.